Hello friends, welcome back to this video on probability and statistics. In this video, we are going to talk about the multiple random process. So first we are going to see what is multiple random process, then we will see the properties of multiple random process. So first, what is multiple random process? As the name suggests, the multiple random process means we have more than one random process. So here if I am taking xt and yt to be two random processes, it is also called multiple random process. So I gave you an example that how many people are watching a video at particular instant of time, it is called the one random process. So the next random process could be how many people are liking it. So if I give you another example, so th that could be the temperature of a city. It is represented by xt and y represents the humidity of the city. So now the temperature and humidity both are the function of time. The temperature and humidity are different at different instant of time. So I can say X and Y are two random processes. So now I'll call it a multiple random process system. Now I have defined two random process on the continuous variable which is time. So according to time the temperature will change according to, to the time the humidity of the city will change. So it is called now a multiple random process. So now coming to the properties. So the first property is the cross correlation function. So if I have two random processes, if I have to see the relation between these two random processes, I can easily find out the relationship by the help of this co cross correlation function. So the cross correlation function tells me It tells me the correlation between xt1 and yt2. So the relationship between the random process x at time t1 and the random process y at time another instant of time t2 is given by the cross correlation function because these are two random variables till now we have studied about autocorrelation function only because we had only one process. So now here I have two random processes. So two random processes cross correlation function R x y t1 comma t2 could be find out using e e represents the mean mean of x t1 into x t2. So sorry this is y t2. So I can multiply x t1 which is the random process 1 first random process at time 1 this is my second random process at time 2 so I what I can do I can multiply both and then I can take the mean the mean now is given giving me the cross correlation function so now I, I hope you understood what is cross correlation function so now coming to the joint stationarity so if I have two random processes like I discussed here xt and yt. So the two random processes are jointly stationary only if both of them are wide sense stationary. So if I talk about xt alone and yt alone, these are alone wide sense stationary. And now if I talk about both of them combined, so if I talk about both of them, we'll find out the autocorrelation function. So if the autocorrelation function does not depends upon time. So it comes out to be a function of t2 minus t1. So it's always a constant for any value of t2 and t1. So t2 minus t1 would come out to be constant. So I can say autocorrelation function is a constant. So rxy of tau. So I represent t2 minus t1 as tau. So I can say the cross correlation function is now a constant so that time hour it does not depend upon any of the time so it is not depending upon the time t2 or it is not depending upon the time t1 so i can say this both of the uh, stationary random processes xt and yt are jointly stationary so now coming to the uncorrelatedness so these are uncorrelated xt and yt both are uncorrelated only if the cross correlation function R x y tau is equal to the product of mean. So x bar represents the mean of x t, x t1 and y bar represents the mean of 
y t2 so when the product of mean of x t and y t is equal to the cross correlation function that time i'll call it as uncorrelated so now i can say x and y are not dependent upon each other so like for this example if i find out temperature and humidity now i ask you to find out the temperature and humidity are correlated or not so i can say uh, that you should tell me if temperature is increasing what would be the effect on humidity so you can say these are related these are not related so how you can find out these are related or not you can just find out the cross correlation function you'll find out the mean of both of them so with the help of this formula if cross correlation function is equal to the product of mean then you will say yes these are uncorrelated so temperature and humidity are not related so now coming to the next property which represents the orthogonal process or incoherent process orthogonal process or process is when i have cross correlation function zero so whenever rx tau is zero it is called the orthogonal process so now xy and xt and yt both are combined orthogonal in nature so now coming to the independent process so these are independent x t1 and y t2 are independent when these are independent for all possible values of t1 and t2 so again i'll take the same example of temperature and humidity so if i say the temperature and humidity are independent of each other at every instant of time from t1 to any infin uh, infinity time i can say these are not dependent or these are independent then i'll say that x t1 and y t2 are independent so let's suppose i am making this x t1 x this is x t this is t this is x t and this is y t this is t this is y t so now if i say for every possible t and every possible t here the x and y are independent so i hope you remember the independent condition x comma y is written as x into y so that time i'll call it x t and the y t random process to be independent so at every point at every point the point with like if i find out the value of the random process at this point and similarly the value of this random process at the same point if these are independent similarly i'll find out the independence at every point then i'll call the full random process to be independent otherwise i cannot say these are independent i hope you understood everything which i discussed here if you still have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment box and i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and push the like button thank you